Hello good people and welcome back to another math video. This time we will be talking about how to convert from percents to decimals and from decimals to percents. Let's get started. When we're converting from percents to decimals, there are basically two methods. Method number one is to set sorry about that, to set it as a fraction. And method number two is to move the decimal point. And we're going to look at both of those in detail. Method number one, to set the percent as a fraction. Well, you might remember from our other percent video that if I have, say, 25%, I can always write that as a fraction out of 100, so 25 over 100. And we know that 25 out of 100 is equal to the decimal 25 one hundredths. So one way to move from a percent to a decimal is to recognize this relationship. 25% is equal to 25 out of 100. And 25 out of 100 can be written as 25 hundredths. The other option for moving from a percent to a decimal is to move the decimal point. And honestly, this method is easier once you understand it. So the key to understanding this is knowing that every whole number does have a decimal point. We just usually don't write it. Like the number 25, that's equivalent to 25 and then a decimal point and then a zero. So this is saying I have like 25 and no tenths, 25 and zero tenths. So these are equivalent. So when I see a percent, like 25%, there is not a decimal point shown right here, but it's sort of understood that that's where the decimal point would be. So to move from a percent to a decimal, we have to move that decimal point, even though we don't really see it, we know it's there, we have to move it two places to the left. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is that I could have my imaginary decimal point right here and I'm going to move it one spot to the left that would bring it here and now two spots to the left and that would bring it right here and if I rewrite that number now with that decimal point moved two spots to the left it would look like this and the way to say that number is 25 hundredths and you'll recall that that was the same number that we got when we wrote it as a fraction. All right, I have one spot here where you need to be careful. That is when we have single digit percents. For example, 8%. Now, if you do method number one, and you're going to have this as a fraction, then we would say 8%. Well, that's equal to 8 out of 100. And I can read that as 8 hundredths. You got to be careful about writing this correctly. It's not eight tenths, it's eight hundredths. Then if we do the decimal point method, I'm going to write eight percent again. And remember, when we have our imaginary decimal point, it would be right here. That's where it would be. And remember, we need to move that decimal point two spots to the left in order to convert from a percent to a decimal. So make sure you're doing the two spots because if you do the one spot, it's not going to work. So I'll write this over here. Now two spots to the left, that would be one, and here would be two. So how do I write a decimal point just hanging out in space over there? You need to add in a zero as a placeholder. So it's important that you add the zero in as a placeholder. These are not, I say not equivalent. 8% is not equal to 8 tenths. That is wrong. You need to make sure that you are moving that decimal point two spots. So that's a little tricky when we have these single digit percents. So any, any of those, 1%, 2%, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9%. Those are a little tricky. If we need to convert in the other direction, 
and we want to convert from a decimal to a percent, we're going to use the same methods. One is the fraction method, and two is to move the decimal point. Let's take a closer look at those. Here I've written the numbers uh, zero and then a decimal point, a two and an eight. This is 28 hundredths. So first off, we'll look at the fraction method. So 28 hundredths, so I'm going to write that as a fraction over 100, 28 out of 100, 28 hundredths, and then that is equal to 28 percent, percent being out of 100. The decimal point method, our second option, again, I think this is easier as long as you understand it, is to move this time the decimal point two spots to the right. So now, 28 hundredths, once I move that decimal point two spots to the right, now it's over here, 28%. So those are the two methods. One, setting them as a fraction out of 100, and then converting to a percent, and the other, moving that decimal point two spots, and then we'll have the same percent. Just like there was a tricky one with percent to decimal, there's also a tricky one with decimal to percent. And that's when we have only a number in the tenths place. So here is the decimal four tenths. Lots of times kids will say, oh, that's just 4%. No, it is not 4%. And I can show you two reasons why this is not 4%. Number one, the decimal point method. We, we know that to do the decimal point method, we have to move the decimal point two spots. One spot would get me to four but two spots is going to get me to four and then I need a zero in here as a placeholder so that's going to get me forty percent so four tenths is equal to forty percent the other thing I can do is to write four tenths as a fraction out of one hundred well I can just write it as I say it there's four tenths but this is not out of 100, this is out of 10. So if I want this to be out of 100, that's no problem, but I just have to do a little work here. How to go away from 10 to 100? I have to multiply by 10. So I have to do that same thing on the top. So 4 out of 10 is equal to 40 out of 100, which then, of course, is equal to 40%. So be careful when we see decimals that are only written out to the tenths place. Okay, a couple of practice problems. Here I have 62 hundredths, uh, two ways. Number one, as a fraction, so I can write 62 over 100, and I know that's equal to 62%. Uh, the other way, our decimal method, and that is to move the decimal point two spots, and after I move that decimal point two spots, I would have 62, and then I can put my percent symbol in. All right. Next one, 8 tenths, two ways, first as a fraction, so 8 tenths, that's 8 over 10, and that would be equal to 80 over 100, which will be 80%. And then uh, the decimal point method, if I have 8%, I'm going to move that decimal point two spots, I'm oh, sorry, 8 tenths, move it two spots, it's not going to be 8%, I have to add that zero in, so this is going to be 80 percent. Okay, now go in the other direction. Here I have 65 percent. Again, I'll do the two methods. I can write this as a fraction over 100, 65 over 100, and this is then equal to 65 percent. Then the decimal point method, I can move my decimal point two spots to the left and then this is, oh, I'm sorry, I just realized I made a mistake. Uh, I was having to move towards decimals up here. So 65 out of 100 is equal to 65 hundredths. Sorry about that. Okay. And after I move my decimal point two spots to the left, then I would have 65 hundredths. Uh, down below, 9%. First, as a fraction out of 100, well, this is 9 out of 100. 
and that is going to be equal to nine hundredths. So make sure you are writing it as nine hundredths and not nine tenths. And secondly, moving the decimal point method, make sure you're moving two spots. And then once I move two spots, that is going to be nine hundredths. Okay, well that's it. That is percent to decimals and decimals to percents. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.